Welcome to Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's, the investigative journalism program, or IJP, where I ask the question, Whatever Happened to the Pizza at McDonald's? I'm your host, Brian Thompson. While I wait to see if I receive the nomination to be the next justice of the Supreme Court, I wanted to brief you on another matter entirely. As longtime listeners know, I am humbled to pride myself on being a jack of several trades. Before I was a journalist, I provided end-of-life care for terminally ill rodents at my local small animal hospice. There, I was very well respected. I was a runner-up for the Employee of the Month Award three times, and even briefly won it once before it was revoked due to the technicality that I was a volunteer and not an employee. I do not need to list my accomplishments as an investigator, as I believe this program speaks for itself. And in addition to those roles, I am also an activist and educator. But did you know I am also an accomplished musical artist? Though you may have suspected it, you did not have any evidence until earlier this week, when I released my debut album, Songs in the Pizza Slice. If you have not already, you may listen to it for free at the following internet address, http colon slash slash www.soundcloud.com com slash pizza at mcdonald's if you are not in a situation where you can use your computer or your telephone to visit this website say for example you are driving your car or taking a standardized test i will now play the first single from this album an original song entitled bad riddance open parentheses the last slice close parentheses <laughs> I left my fork at home, I'm eating with my hands. I have a feeling that tomorrow you'll be banned. I wish you'd stay, to go away would be a crime. The people love you, but they'll snuff you out in time. McDonald's has forsaken you, while you're here it's nice. I hope that this is not the last slice. I took a photograph, a still frame in my mind. No one can take it from me, even if they tried. Maybe I'll get you in a tattoo on my skin. But I'm afraid, Jesus said that that's a sin. McDonald's has forsaken you, while you're here it's nice. I hope that this is not the last slice. McDonald's has forsaken you, while you're here it's nice, I hope that this is not the last slice. McDonald's has forsaken you, while you're here it's nice, I hope that this is not the last slice. In this song, I channeled the melancholical feelings I experienced while eating McDonald's pizza in Pomeroy, Ohio. Little did I know at the time that corporate brass would put an end to Pomeroy's pizza once and for all in just a few short months. This fact adds a layer of poignancy to the song that will surely facilitate its rise up the popular music charts. But I did not release this album to achieve success as a music star. Such success is probably inevitable, but it is far more important to me that this album act as a teaching tool for those who have not heard of McDonald's Pizza. 
It includes songs about McDonald's pizza's taste, about my devotion to investigating whatever happened to it, and other informative tunes that may be enjoyed by the whole family, not least of which is an M-word ballad about the pizza-fueled criminal Jesse Pomeroy. And unlike my failed attempt to educate the public about McDonald's pizza through the art of skywriting, I believe there are opportunities for my music to reach an even wider audience than just those who are capable of looking at the sky. Hello? Hello? Hello, is this McDonald's? Yes. Hi, may I speak with the manager, please? Oh, hi. My name is Brian Thompson, and I'm a musician. I don't know if you've heard of me, but I've just released an album with songs about McDonald's, and I was wondering if you might be able to play them in your store. Hello? 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 McDonald's. Chris, may I help you? Hello, may I speak to a manager, please? I'm a manager. Hello, my name is Brian Thompson, and I'm a musician, and I've just released an album with songs about McDonald's. I was wondering if I might be able to ask you to play them in your store. Uh, that you would have to go through our actual off, our, our uh, home office to have them do that. What do you mean by home office? Like our corporate office in Springdale. For our owner operators, they're the ones that are the ones that will make that decision for the restaurant, like our restaurants. I see. Do you uh, have their I number? Can give you their number? I would very much like their number. Okay, the phone number is four seven nine seven five one seven. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm writing this down. I apologize. That's fine. Nine. Four seven nine, and what were the rest of the numbers? Seven five one. Seven five one. Nine six. Nine six. One seven. Oh, I'm sorry, my Palm Pilot just died. Uh, the last two numbers were one and seven. Seven. Okay, I'll try to remember those. Okay, I'll well, give them a call. Thank you for the information. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for calling the McDonald's office. Our normal office hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We are currently closed, so please press zero and leave a message at the tone. Recording. Hello, my name is Brian Thompson, and I'm calling with a proposition. I'm a musician, as well as an educator, as well as several other things, and I released an album of songs about McDonald's. I was wondering if I might have your permission to air them in your store over the PA system. I could possibly fly in and play them live, or you can play them from a recording, a cassette tape, etc. Uh, please give me a call back. My number is... three. Eight. And again, my name is Brian Thompson. Thank you. Today's episode of Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's is brought to you by Famous Amos. Let me address the proverbial elephant in the room by saying I am not sure whether the titular Amos of Famous Amos Cookies fame is supposed to be famous, or if the adjective is meant to refer to the cookies themselves. It is probably a moot point, as the man Amos is certainly quite famous these days, if only because his cookies achieved fame before him. Regardless, you have probably heard of Famous Amos cookies. They are dry, hard, and come in a bag. Famous Amos cookies. You have heard of them, and they come in a bag. Thank you for listening to Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's, a proud part of the Pizza at McDonald's network. Do you know what happened to Pizza at McDonald's? Do you remember it? Please send all correspondence to pizza at McDonald's at gmail.com. Visit our attractive website at www.pizzaatmcdonalds.com. There you may sign up for our electronic mail newsletter. 
You will also find links to our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages, as well as to our Teespring store, where you may purchase quality whatever happened to Pizza at McDonald's merchandise. To provide financial support, visit patreon.com slash pizza at McD's. Or, to make a one-time donation, use our PayPal email address, pizza at McDonald's at gmail.com. I'm Brian Thompson.